What's going on everybody? I found this nifty little trick while I was working on this green screenshot for a Star Wars short film that I'm making with Holden Hardman. And as you can see, I brought this image plane into Blender. It is just a flat plane, no geometry, no light interactions. Because it's got nothing, it's just a color texture. We need a normal map. Normal maps are a handy way to fake shadows and highlights on a surface without adding geometry. And DaVinci Resolve has a new relight feature in the 18.5 beta that just came out. I noticed while I was setting it up that the relight feature actually outputs a normal map. And it got me thinking like, can, can I use this for Blender? And the answer is, yeah. Yeah, you can. There's no reason why you can't output this as a PNG sequence and bring that into Blender to drive your normal map. You can go from having a flat surface to a voluptuous surface. These are the settings that I used to output as a PNG sequence. You can see I did two renders here. One was the output of the alpha green screen footage, and the other was the normal map that I wanted to bring into Blender. In the shading tab, you can see that I have my alpha image sequence. That's my green screen footage. And then I have this animated normal map sequence that I got from the node output of the relight feature in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. And we give it a pluggy plug and you can instantly see something has changed. We move the light around and uh, we have light interactions. This is still just a flat surface. It's like a cardboard cutout. But now we can cast shadows onto our green screen characters. This is, I, I love this. This is cool. This is cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this, and that will be all for today. Goodbye.